Blake, you'll never defeat me! Wait, what? I, I hit you once and you went down like a little bitch. You are still afraid. I'll protect you, Blake! Because I respect you as a close friend and nothing more! What? And I've just fallen in love at first sight with this rabbit girl, thus freeing me from my unwanted infatuation with Blake. What the hell's going on? Ew, what? Blake is here? I'd rather jump down an elevator shaft than see her again. See, Blake, I'm the only person who truly loves you. Not so fast. What? Oh, sea captain! You finally returned to beat up my ugly ex-boyfriend at the moment when I'm the most emotionally vulnerable. Ah, uh, you haven't seen the last of me. Blake will never love you. Oh, sea captain, my love, let's get married. Take me aboard your mighty vessel and show me the motion of your ocean. No, 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 stop, stop, please. This is getting... Really, really dumb. You're the worst storyteller I've ever heard. Why would you redcon the end of my perfectly functional emotional journey just for the sake of pandering bullshit and another cliffhanger? Blake, shipping fuel and cliffhangers are what get this show another season. Satisfying emotional arcs might win some dumb awards, but constantly emotionally manipulating half your audience into starting flame wars with the other half about meaningless bullshit is what keeps brand awareness up in the off-season. But your version is terrible screenwriting! Look, Blake, if something is emotionally conclusive, that's just the end of it. Sure, people will leave satisfied, but you don't want them to leave. And you can't develop anything either, because if characters grow or change over time in anything but the most superficial way imaginable, it means that people won't be able to rewatch the older episodes and look for evidence that their shitty headcanon is somehow the best one. So... what does that mean for me? Well, it means Adam's coming back into your life. And Yang is gonna forgive you way too easily for abandoning her in her time of need. And it means Sun's not going anywhere. And Ilya probably only exists to pander to people who hate Bumblebee but still think you're gay. So my whole life is a lie. Well, there is one way to break the cycle. It's to, uh, consummate a relationship. You know, there's a bed in my quarters. Wait, 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 is this whole spiel about storytelling just you trying to gaslight me into sleeping with you? No! No, of course not! <laughs> Don't be silly! Oh god, this is gonna be an awkward boat trip. I don't know how that fake guy's still standing. He recharges his aura faster than I've ever seen. Hey, recharging aura was my unique semblance. How's he doing that? Miles, shut up. So you're- you're not even gonna pretend I'm not a blatant self-insert Mary Sue? Fuck off. Are you hurt? N no I just remember you being more of the quiet one. Weiss, I said three words to you after not seeing you for over a year. Who are you talking to? Blake. Uh... Oh. Huh? Cut me some slack. I just got stabbed in the liver. Hallucinations are normal. Right? <laughs> ah, uh, my jellyfish poke in hand. Oh, how am I going to explain this to her? Oh. Dear sweet jellyfish love, oh god, oh, oh, uh, they shot my hand so I could no longer poke you the way you like. Oh, ah, oh, but I can do other things, things you might like more, oh no, oh god. Oh, ooh, oh, I like where this is going, oh, oh god, no, no, this is bad, oh, please help. Ah, ah. I have a question about your plan. Okay. It was really stupid. That wasn't a question, but fuck you too. Why didn't you just walk down to the vault without telling anyone about it? Look, I had to facilitate the big fight scene at the end of the volume. But there like wasn't one. What? Yeah, no big fight. But I left all the good guys and all the bad guys in the same room for three episodes. Yeah, the camera was mostly just focused on Lionheart watching the fight the whole time. How? What? They're still up there. What are they doing right now? The camera is down here with us. Look, it's behind those rocks. But, wait, what about the fight I had with Cinder? Yeah, they showed that one, but it was pretty stupid. No, it wasn't. Mom, you said her grim arm didn't have any aura right before not attacking it while it sucked the power out of you. But you wasted every advantage you went in with. I- It was the dumbest fight in the whole show. You take that back. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. Oh, wait, you want it? Okay, sweet, bye.
the fuck? Well, you said to go to field trials. I didn't say to drop him in the middle of a city. Ugh, the Genlock teaser looks so awful. What else is on? Hey, those bastards think they can use my likeness without permission? And for a shitty jump scare. No, that's it, I'm calling my lawyer. Hello? Rooster Teeth Law Offices? <laughs> yes, someone's using my likeness without permission. <laughs> really? Really, I can just take them down. <laughs> what about the DMCA, your fair use? Do I have to make any special considerations for that stuff? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is a serious legal question. <laughs> so, you're sure it's absolutely legal to take down anything that uses my image regardless of context? And I'm also allowed to send threatening emails to the people who posted it? Oh well, this has been enlightening, even for me, the avatar of all evil in the universe. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Oscar, there you have it. We made it through another volume of this nonsense. Yeah. Wait, what did you just call me? Oscar. It's your name. Look at it. No, Ozpin, that's clearly a typo. Oh, come on, Oscar. Do you really believe the Kruby would make such a stupid mistake like that? What? Ozpin, they make nothing but stupid mistakes like that! You just called the whole volume nonsense! Uh, I don't know. You just sound like a crybaby to me, Oscar. You better not be this annoying in the next volume. 